आज हमको आनंद का अनुभव हो रहा है कि हमारे बीच श्रद्धेय स्वामी पूज्य मुकुंदानंद स्वामी जी की पावन उपस्थिति है आप जगतगुरु श्री कृपालु जी महाराज के वरिष्ठ शिष्य हैं एक अभूतपूर्व योग प्रणाली जगतगुरु कृपालु जी योग जे के योग के आप संस्थापक हैं आईआईटी और आईआईएम के स्नातक के रूप में आपसे प्रदत्त प्रशिक्षण बुद्धिजीवियों को आकर्षित करता है मनोयोग को भक्ति योग से जोड़ने की कला आप सुचारू रूप से बताते हैं आपका प्रासंगिक वक्तव्य हमें मानव चरित्र के वास्तविक मानचित्र से अवगत कराएगा आदरणीय श्रद्धेय स्वामी पूज्य मुकुंदानंद जी भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु स्टेट्स अहो चित्र महो चित्र वंदे तत्म बंधन यदम मुक्तिद मुक्त ब्रह्म क्रीडा मृगीकृत इट्स एज I don't offer my pranams to Bhagwan. I offer my pranams to the bhakti in the hearts of those devotees that enslaves even Bhagwan. Likewise, on reaching here, before offering my pranam to Bhagwan Swami Narayan, I offer my respectful salutations. to the bhakti the loving devotion the sacrifice in the hearts of the tens of thousands of swami narayan devotees that has made this miracle possible i offer my pranam to the great santos the sages who imparted this tremendous vision and inspired the devotees to manifest it in reality heartful salutations to them and we did not have the good fortune of the darshan of bhagwan swami narayan in this human life but we see the devotion that he imparted in the hearts of his devotees that has continued for 250 years and we all gather to offer our salutations at his lotus feet as per the vedas the ultimate goal of dharma is bhagavan धर्म मूलम ही भगवान धर्मम तो साक्षात भगवत प्रणीतम न वै विदुर ऋषयो नापि देवा द एम ऑफ फॉलोइंग धर्मा इज टू अचीव भगवत प्राप्ति दैट भगवान द सुप्रीम डिवाइन एंटिटी इज इनफाइनाइट एन एक्सटेंट what does infinite mean he is not limited to our tiny intellect if somebody says god is only nirakar that is limiting if somebody says god is only sakar that is also limiting our vedas say yo vanantasya gunananta nanukramishyan satu bal buddhi if somebody thinks i can count the number of qualities in god that person has got a childish intellect rajan si bhume er ganayet kathanchit kalen naiva khil shakti dham na ved vyas states you may be able to count the specks of dust on the crust of this earth this impossible may become possible but the innumerable attributes of bhagwan nobody can count that supreme divine personality manifests in many forms he has got many dhams he has got many devotees it is only natural that the mountain which we are closest to 
seems the biggest to us and that is what leads to the variety in our sanatan dharma we are so happy here to have 400 organizations of our sanatan dharma gathered here to celebrate the success of one of our organizations the BAPS Swami Narayan Sampraday we honor the devotion in their hearts we take inspiration from their Guru Bhakti we have a lot to learn and we also are extremely happy that they have chosen to invite all of us here together so that united we celebrate the values of our Sanatan Dharma. This message of unity within diversity and diversity within unity is the special gift of our Hindu Dharma to the world. And in a world that is broken in small, small conflicts, in little, little silos, we need multiple helpings of this teaching to bring peace and unity to all of humankind. So I am sure that 400 organizations today join me in expressing our heartfelt appreciation to all the Swaminarayan devotees here for their wonderful achievement. It is something that we all celebrate together. That Bhagavan who has got infinite attributes it is said his highest attribute is he is bhakta vatsal. He loves his devotees. And I can see how so many heaps of grace have been bestowed. It is easy for a person like me to come and appreciate. However, those of you who build this temple a million pieces of the jigsaw puzzle had to come together. Innumerable problems had to be resolved to bring this project to fruition today. It could never have happened without the grace of Bhagavan Swami Narayan. He is definitely Bhakta Vatsal. And there's one quality of Bhagavan which is even higher. He is Bhakta Vashya. What does Bhakta Vashya means? Wherever he sees pure love, wherever he sees selfless love, he becomes enslaved. That is why Veda Vyas has written in the Bhagavatam, Aham Bhaktaha Paradhino Hyasvatantra Ivadvija Sadhubhir Grastaridayo Bhaktair Bhakta Jana Priyaha Shri Krishna is saying, although I am Purushottam, although I am the Supreme Divine Personality beyond all the material and spiritual abodes, yet in front of the love of my devotee, I become enslaved. That love is the one quality that enslaves even the Supreme Divine Personality. The love my Gurudev, Jagat Guru Shri Kripaluji Maharaj would say in your bhakti, keep these three points in mind. The first point, do nishkam bhakti. Don't ask God for material things. Make seva, service as your goal. And we see the seva that has made this shining beacon of bhakti possible in the Western world. And the second, second condition in bhakti, he would say, 
is do ananya bhakti your mind should not be attached anywhere in the world it must be attached only to god and to guru the bhagavat kshetra and the third shart was do nirantar bhakti do bhakti constantly incessantly which means your mind should always be in god that bhagavan is not manifest before us today however his representative the guru comes in front of us the shweta ashvatar upanishad states yasya deve para bhakti yatha deve tatha gurau tasyaite kathita hyartha prakashyante mahatmanah the way you do bhakti to god in the same way if you do bhakti towards the guru as well considering the guru to be the representative of god non different from him then by the grace of god and guru all the imports of the vedic shastras will manifest in your heart by their grace i must say that today i take back with me from here the inspiration of guru bhakti and guru seva and guru sharanagati that i see in the tens of thousands of devotees of the swami narayan sampradaya out here before ending just one last message bhagwan in the devi bhagavat puran it is said bhagwan is shad vidhaishvarya paripurn ऐश्वर्य समग्रस्य धर्मस्य यशसश्रिय ज्ञानवैराग्यश्च शरण भगइतीरण दैट गॉड हेज गॉट इन्फिनेट ऐश्वर्य मैजेस्टी ऑल मैटीनेस एंड देर इज अनदर रस टू भक्ति एज वेल दैट इज ब्रज रस ब्रज रस इज दैट वेर ऑल दी ऐश्वर्य गेट्स हिडन if you go to the land of vrindavan you will see the same bhagwan is tied to the mortar wheel by yashoda that is the power of bhakti that it enslaves even god all these varieties of rasas are a part of our sanatan dharma just as bhagwan is sanatan eternal from eternity till eternity likewise dharma is not a creation that happened a few hundred years ago but it is sanatan and that sanatan dharma is explained in the sanatan shastras which are the vedas these vedas have been elaborated in so many scriptures as was explained and they are the basis of the bhakti of the various hindu sampradays that have gathered here today all of us join together to celebrate the victory the success of the sanatan dharma in the manifestation of akshardham etle akshardham <laughs>